Hello friends, Scott from Platte River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome on my channel. You get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. I check in with you at least once a week to update you on my keto progress. Try to check in with you at least one other time during the week to share something that I've learned. Usually something about the ketogenic lifestyle, but occasionally just a little something that I've learned about this journey that we call life. So it's been a week since I've checked in with you guys. Um, I've been busy and I know that I indicated to you before this all started that I would be busy during tax season. Um, I haven't had this channel during a tax season. I actually started everything up in August of last year. So it's been a bit of a struggle. I, I'm not surprised it was a struggle. It was a struggle last year. Tax season is tough. It's taxing, pun intended. Um, so I've been having a rough time. Uh, it's been difficult. It's been long days, a lot of stress. Last weekend, I ate off plan for a couple of days. Uh, last week, I did not get any workouts in, really. I basically went to work, worked a long day, came home, went to bed, repeated. This week, I got a workout streak going again. Those of you who follow me on Facebook will know that I did start working out again on Tuesday. Got a workout in every day so far this week. I didn't get my workout in this morning before I went to work, but I am planning on doing that this afternoon after I dropped my daughter off at a church dance. So that's how things are going for me. I have not checked my relationship with Earth's Gravity, nor am I going to. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still here. I'm still standing. Uh, hopefully I can get you a, a longer, better check-in. Um, there's about three and a half weeks left in tax season, so you will see hopefully a more functional human being here in a few weeks. I am definitely still eating keto. Uh, like I said, other than a couple of days, the last weekend, uh, last kind of Saturday, Sunday, I've been remaining keto. Definitely not, I would call it dirty keto. I guess a lot of people call it dirty keto. I'm definitely having keto snacks and that sort of thing. Things that I wouldn't have, especially when I was if I was focused on weight loss, which has been my focus, as those of you who have been following along know, for a long time. I was down about 180 pounds, I gave about 10 back, I was down about 170, and the last time I checked in, I was about down about 175, so don't know where I'm at, I probably gave a few pounds back, I might be closer to that 170 at this point, but I'm not going to worry about it, I am going to refocus after tax season is over. Having said that, not going off the rails. Uh, get to celebrate my wife, my wife's birthday tomorrow. She, she is. Uh, I don't know if she cares how old I'm. She's turning, but I'm not going to tell you. She can tell you if she wants to. But uh, we get to celebrate her birthday. That's going to be fun. And planning on doing a keto birthday cake. I did give her the option of certainly not doing that if she didn't want to. But as most of you know, she's keto with me most of the time. And so looking forward to that, trying to get some stuff together. She and I are going to go out to dinner tonight, and then tomorrow, Sunday, I'm going to make some ribs, and we're going to celebrate. So excited about that. The one thing I did want to share with you guys today in my absolutely hot mess of an update, I wanted to share a little bit about keeping going. Uh, I noticed for me, while I didn't get off of my eating plan, I definitely got off of my exercise plan last week. And... Objects in motion tend to stay in motion, and objects at rest tend to stay at rest. I believe that's a Newton's law there for you. That is so true, and it was so hard, and has been so hard, to get back into the groove of, for example, getting my workouts in, because I stopped. And even with just a week of not doing them, it so quickly becomes a habit to not do something. And not doing something, of course, is much easier than doing something. So if I could give you any piece of advice, learn from my experience, learn from my mistakes, that would be to continue to do, continue to have your workouts, even if they're less enthusiastic workouts. Continue to, on your eating plan. I, again, I haven't really gotten off of my eating plan with the exception of a couple of days, and I got right back on. But... Keep that positive momentum, keep that motion going. Even if you slow down some, keep that motion going. Because restarting when you've stopped is a lot harder than revving up as you've been going. If we want to keep our analogy going there, if you're, if you're trying to push a car, you ever got a car that got stuck in the snow, for example, 
and you're trying to get it going, and you kind of you're rocking it back and forth to get it to start going. Because once it starts going, it's easy to keep it going, but getting it to start going is hard. So if you stop one of your healthy habits, restarting it can be difficult. And I, I am living proof of that this week. Restarting my positive habit of exercise, getting my yoga workouts in, has been a challenge because I stopped it. I think if I had maybe done easier workouts, I, as you guys know that have been following along, I'm in the advanced program of my yoga program. And I think that part of it was I was really stressed, I was really tired, I had some really long days, and I was not looking forward to the more challenging workouts that I have on my program now. There are some different options, of course. I didn't have to not do anything. I had the option of like adjusting my workout, changing my workout to something that was simpler, a little bit shorter, a little bit easier for me. I chose not to do that. I chose to stop instead, which is probably not the best choice, uh, I guess is what I'm saying, uh, long story short. So anyway, that's my little bit of keto advice for the day. Like I said, I know it's not much of an update, not really talking about my goals. I'm just kind of putting everything on pause and trying to get through tax season. But I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. I appreciate your support on my journey. I appreciate uh, all of the checking in with me and your encouraging words. Uh, you guys are just the best. So keep calm and keto on. I give that advice to myself as well, and we'll check in with you next week.